guys, so today's video is going to be a lipstick collection video. I generally don't do beauty videos because, you know, I don't really think they're my kind of thing. But a lot of you guys always ask me about my lipsticks, you know, which ones I wear, where I get them from, etc, etc. So I thought, you know, why not I make a lipstick collection video showing you guys all the lipsticks I have and what they look like. Also, if my voice sounds a little bit weird in this video, it's because I'm at the moment a little bit ill, so bear with me. But yeah, let's get on to the lipsticks. Okay, so the first one we have is NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil in 706, which is gold. And I know it says lip pencil, but when you put it on, like, the texture of it is exactly the same as a lipstick, so for me, it's a lipstick, because, you know, it's basically the same. It's gold and shimmery, I generally wouldn't wear, like, a full gold lipstick unless I was going to some sort of crazy event, or if I wanted to do, like, a photo shoot. But what I would do is I'd put maybe, like, a red lipstick all over, and then add a little bit of gold, like, in the middle, you know, on the sides, just to give it a bit of a little shimmer kind of thing. The second lipstick is a Rimmel London lipstick. It's one of those ones by Kate Moss, and it is 08. It's like a nudie pink kind of colour with a bit of shimmer. This is what it looks like if I'd wear it like all the way, like fully. Generally when I wear this, I only wear like a little bit just to add, you know, a little bit of tint of colour to my lips. And then I've got another Rimmel London Kate Moss lipstick and it's in 19. It's basically almost exactly the same as the other one, just it's slightly more darker and it's not as shimmery as the other one. And then we've got a Barry M lipstick in 146 and it's like extremely, extremely Barbie pink, like Barbie pink to the max. I generally wouldn't wear this all the way unless I was going for a crazy look and also, you know, I don't think like the full crazy pink suits me so generally I just put a little bit on just to give a little bit of a colour. And then I've got another Barry M lipstick in 121 and it's this awesome bright red which is also slightly orangey in a sense, not super orangey but like a tiny bit orangey compared to the other ones that I've got. And I really love Barry M lipsticks because it's really super smooth, it doesn't dry your lips out, it just feels nice and nourishing and lovely even though it's lipstick. And you can get a really bold colour just by using one coat which is what I really like, I don't like doing multiple coats to try and get the colour right so this is lovely. And then I've got this weird lipstick called Hair Lipstick which is in a shade 33, as you guys can see it's bright green. Now this one of those lipsticks that, you know, react to like the pH on your lip and whatnot. So it'll be darker and lighter on you depending on what kind of pH levels and all that stuff you have. I got this one from a present from Saudi Arabia, but I know you can get these from like Barry M and Boots and stuff like that. They all have them as well. I generally just use this as a lip balm and also when I want like a little bit of colour on my lip, but nothing too harsh, so that's good for that. Next I've got lipstick from Natural Collection and it's one of their Moisture Shine ones and it's in Cherry Red. This is one of the first lipsticks I ever used, which is why it's pr pretty much almost finished because I used to use it all the damn time. It was my favourite up until I found NYX, which I will show you guys after. It's moisturising and it's matte and it gives like the perfect kind of bold red colour you want without giving loads and loads of layers, so I absolutely love that. Next I've got a matte NYX lipstick in the shade MLS 10, which is perfect red. It's a nice bright bold red and I love it. The next one I have is also an NYX matte lipstick and this one is MLS 07 in the shade Alabama and this is my favourite lipstick of all time. Like, I will wear this every single day if I can, if I get the chance I shall. It's matte, it's bold, it's moisturising and it literally lasts the whole day like no matter what you're doing, whether you're eating or like brushing your teeth or whatever, if you've got this lipstick on it will stay on which is like the best part about it and it won't start you know getting all crackly and you know won't start peeling off or anything. So if you guys are looking for a nice matte lipstick then definitely I recommend the matte lipsticks from NYX because they are like the best thing ever. The next lipstick I have is from Topshop and it's in the shade Inhibition. It's like a purpley pinky kind of colour. It is pretty sheer so if you do want like the full bold colour then you will have to go over it a few times to get that full colour. The next lipstick I have is a MAC lipstick in the shade Diva which is a matte lipstick and it looks like this. It's a lovely lovely dark deep red colour and although I love the colour and the whole matteness of the lipstick it does really dry out your lips and makes it go all crumbly after like a few hours of wearing it. So in my personal opinion MAC is not the best. Yes they have a nice wide variety of different colours but quality wise like you know it makes my lips feel really really dry afterwards and I just really don't like it. The next lipstick is from Topshop and it's in the shade Begilled or Begilid. Honestly, I don't know how to pronounce the word. But it's this lovely dark purpley purpley reddish kind of lipstick. And as you guys can see, I used to wear this 24-7 because it's almost finished. It's like my second favourite lipstick of all time. The next lipstick I have is from Wet n Wild and it's in the shade 55 called Lustful. And it's like a purpley berry kind of colour. It is very silky and like can get a little gooey when you put it on. But it gives a nice colour, so I like it. The next lipstick is from this weird company called Bloom. And honestly, I just found this in like the sales section of Boots. And I looked at the colour and I was like, you know what? I will buy it. And it's in the shade Swing. And it's in this very, very dark purple. If you do want the full colour, you'll have to give it a few layers. Because it's generally one of those light lipsticks. So if you want the full colour, you have to go over it a few times. But if you just put it on once, you'll get like a nice little dark tinty colour. I generally like mixing these with my matte lipsticks just to make my lipsticks a little bit more darker. But also, you know, a little bit more moisturising because this is quite silky. 
The next lipstick is one of those NYX Jumbo Lip Pencils again. You know, the ones that look like lip pencils, but the texture is exactly the same as lipsticks, which is why I call them lipsticks. And it's in the shade 718 Maroon. And I absolutely love it. The only bad thing I'd say about it is the fact that it's not as lasting as I wish it would be. So, you know, after like an hour, it'll just start going all weird. It's one of those lipsticks that you have to constantly top up if you want the colour to stay, you know, prominent throughout the whole day. And the last lipstick I have is a lipstick from Miss Sporty, and it's in 207 Extreme Black which as you guys can see is a full on black lipstick. It can get a little sheer so if you want to get the full coverage you gotta do it a few times. And it is a little bit you know on the shimmery side whereas I prefer my lipsticks matte. But it's nice to mix with other lipsticks if you want to make them slightly more darker so I would definitely recommend this for that reason. So yeah guys that's the whole lipstick collection. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, hopefully it's helped you guys and yeah until next time, bye!